To put it in context, I'm joined by Mike Sweeney, a five-time MLB All-Star. Mike, you've been talking to a lot of players about the Dodgers' decision to honor this group. What are they telling you about the conflict they're feeling between their franchise and their faith? Well, you saw the last week, you know, wonderful uh, Christian men like Clayton Kershaw, Blake Trinan of the Dodgers speaking out against the organization that employs them, saying, look, we're not even Catholics yet. This anti-Catholic hate group, we, we don't support the Dodgers um, crowning these men that dress up in the sacred beauty of a habit of a nun and crown them as community heroes. Uh, Trevor Williams, a pitcher for the Washington Nationals, a brother in Christ that I'm in a Bible study with down in San Diego. He, he spoke out. And I think baseball players, they just want to be baseball players. I remember mm -hmm. as a young boy, uh, not a better feeling in the world when my dad would come home from work and he'd have tickets to go watch the Angels game or the Dodgers game. And my brother and I would sit with our hero and be inspired by some of the heroes of our, our youth, these mm -hmm. baseball players. And the baseball players don't want to be political pawns. And, you know, quite frankly, the way the Dodgers are handling things, I won't be taking my three boys mm. who love baseball up to Chavez, Chavez Ravine anytime soon. Oh, uh, it's really, it's sad. It's really sad. And I mean, you know, if it weren't for the Catholic League who objected and sort of mobilized their people the day after the Dodgers walked it back, and then they, they decide to walk back the walk back and, and honor this group. But if they wanted to honor a group of nuns or a group of women who cared for, for gay people, they should have looked no further than the missionaries of charity, Mother Teresa's nuns here in New York. They did that for years when no one cared. Mike, Major League Baseball changed their Twitter logo to celebrate Pride Month. But after Twitter users lashed out, the logo went from this yesterday to this today. Your thought, your reaction to this. The MLB is denying that uh, the outrage had anything to do with it, by the way. They told Newsweek the organization always planned to recognize the beginning of Pride Month uh, and then Friday marked Lou Gehrig's Day, which is celebrated league-wide. And so they updated the profile to reflect that. Yeah, Clayton Kershaw spoke out about the Dodgers now having Christian Family Day back at Dodger mm -hmm. Stadium. And I was a member of teams that... We spoke after the games. Fans would stick around. But even as a Christian, as a Catholic that loves our Lord, uh, we would never require some of our, our brothers on the team that were Islamic or Jewish or non of, of any faith at all to go on Christian Family Day and be forced to wear a crucifix or a cross on their jersey. No, we love, yeah. we love our brothers on our team, and we're baseball players. We're not political figures. But, yeah, to, to the L.A. Dodgers, like, you know, why are you celebrating a group that is hateful? You're talking about inclusion, diversity. Mm -hmm. Well, celebrate these beautiful nuns that walk the streets of L.A. every day and feed the homeless and care for those that are in the AIDS victims and those dying in hospitals. Those are the true heroes of the community. And also just you're alienating two thirds of Los Angeles population. Um, identify themselves as Christians. Oh. Half of that group are Catholics. And now you're just spitting on your fans saying, we don't care what you think. We don't care what you believe because we're going to celebrate something. We're going to push a political agenda. So it, it breaks my heart as a, as a former major league player. But Raymond, I just got out of mass about 40 minutes ago. And the gospel mm -hmm. reading tonight was Matthew chapter 22. Mm -hmm. And Jesus says the two greatest commandments Love the Lord God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, and love your neighbor as yourself. Mm. To these men that dress up in the beautiful habits of these holy women that give their life to Jesus and His holy Catholic Church and mock everything that is sacred and beautiful. I want you to know, sisters of perpetual indulgence, that Christ loves you. He mm. died for you. And please quit mocking Quit mocking and destroying and blaspheming his holy church. You are loved mm -hmm. by God and called to be a saint. So I, I, I was praying. I was fasting all day for these men. And mm -hmm. I, was, I was praying that they would, too, have a conversion. Mike, and they I, would come to I'm know out the love of time, and joy so of Jesus I'm going to leave Christ. it there. But you know what? What a beautiful way to end this. Have a great weekend, and I thank you for being here. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.